Tommy, man, just talk about uh, this week of preparation for you know what might be one of the biggest games of the year for you guys and the environment that you're getting ready for uh, up there up there in uh, Notre Dame or whatnot. Just <coughs> what's it like this week? This week, uh, we've really just been like stressing on having good practices every day this week because. That's what we need to do to win games is to have crisp practices every day. And if we practice full out, then I feel like we'll be ready, more ready to be able to go up there and compete with them. You, you being on the offensive side of the ball, you know you're going up one of the top defenses in the country. But what's so special about their defense and why they've been so successful this year? Their defense is just extremely physical. They're fast. They're big. I think their entire D-line is almost over 300 pounds. And their linebackers are great. They have Teo that's one of a Heisman candidate at linebacker, you don't ever hear about that. And you and he's uh, making plays, getting picks. I think he's what second in the nation in interceptions. Mm -hmm. And it's just as a as a team, they play great defense. As far as just the environment that you guys will be expecting once you get up there, uh, how's coach preparing you? I mean, he's, he's had a long career, or whatnot, so I'm sure he's seen an environment like this or two. What how's he preparing you guys for what to expect once you get to South Bend? Well, really, it's just like, it's kind of business as usual at practice and everything, but he, he knows and he's told us that it's going to be a crazy environment. you got to think of the, like, the craziest stadium that you've played in. It's going to be something like that, like Clemson, whenever the, you're going down to Death Valley or something like that. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be even more crazy than that, and that's something that he's told us. And once you guys, you know, get through the tunnel or whatnot, you get on the field for warm-ups or, what, or whatnot, how do you avoid from being, how do you and your teammates avoid from being bug-eyed or whatnot and just understand that, you know, we're here to win a football game? But really, that's, that's the thing. Like, I feel like most of our team knows that it's football. It's a game that we've played since most of us were, uh, were five years old. So, I mean, for, for me and a lot of the team, I think that once we, we get out there and we're on the field with those guys and everything, it's just business as usual and we'll be able to play the game. How big would it be for your team, this program, you know, the community or whatnot to go up into this national stage and do what no other team has been able to do? So many teams have come close to pulling off the upset, upset and giving them their first loss. Wake Forest is the team to give them that one loss. How big would that be for you guys? I think that'd be uh, really big for us. I think that it would set us up for the program. It would be good for the football team. It would give us confidence going into it. Uh, it would make us bowl eligible and it would do everything that we've wanted for this season and we could play the the role of uh, the underdog beating the almighty Notre Dame and that would be something big for our program. Going off how close you guys beat them last year, I mean it was a close game last year, down to the wire and whatnot, what confidence are you taking you know, from that experience within last year knowing you're going up against most of the same players that you're going up against uh, this Saturday? Really I think that that helps us out a lot because a lot, a lot of the players that we have played against them last year and we know that we can play with them, so that gives us a lot of confidence being able to go in there and hopefully get a win. Are they overhyped? You know what I mean? Like everybody, you know, they talk about America's team and America's, you know, favorite college football team. I mean, is it overhyped in the media and leading up to playing them? No, I definitely wouldn't say that they're overhyped. They're a great team. Obviously, they've won every game that they've played so far. They're number three in the nation because for a reason. It's not because they're overhyped or anything like that. They're a great team. They play great team football, and they come out and they win every week. When you, uh, other than like Teow, I mean, I don't think a lot of people can name like a star on their team. So, I mean, I guess that really speaks to your point of them being a a, a complete team. Are, are teams like that more difficult to prepare for because they are so balanced and the talent is so spread out? Yeah, I think it's definitely something that makes it more difficult to prepare for because, like you said, they're so spread out with talent. They have talent at every position and they're, they, uh, they play well with each other. They play team defense and it makes it very hard for us to prepare for them and find a weakness. You know, they've played a lot of ACC teams, you know, and future ACC teams. Can can that help in any way in your preparation? Well, I mean, it kind of, they, I guess you can uh, go and look at the teams that we've played and they've played against and kind of like uh, compare to what they've done against them and things like that. But I don't know if it really helps us because we got to prepare for our own game plan where 
a different team than every other team. Pretty excited for this week or whatnot, especially with the opportunity you have ahead of you. How was how everybody's emotions going into this? Week? Yeah, I think definitely everybody's excited. We came out of practice and we were all focused yesterday because yesterday was our first practice. So I think that everybody's really excited for this opportunity to come out and compete with a national champ uh, contender. Does it help going up against a team like this, especially coming off the loss you came, you, you guys got from uh, NC State? Yeah, I think it definitely does. It definitely brings everybody's focus back to the game and uh, getting ready to play Notre Dame because they're such a great challenge.